today we are commemorating the driest World Water Day in Penang so far. The Chief Minister has announced a postponement of irrigation activities in Penang on Thursday, 20th of April. This is to ensure that there is sufficient raw water to extract from Sungai Muda for water supply in Penang until June 2016. Secondly, the Penang State Government and PBAPP have sent six official letters to the following federal authorities. The Deputy Prime Minister, who is the Chairman of the National Water Resources Council, asking for an emergency meeting. The Minister of Energy, Green Technology, Water, or KETA. The Chief Secretary of KETA. The Chief Secretary of Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment. The Chief Secretary of Ministry of Agriculture and the CEO of SPAN. In all six letters, we are requesting the federal government to act now to prevent a water crisis that threatens 4 million people in four states. We are recommending the fol following preventive measures. One, postpone irrigation in the northern region. Secondly, implement continuous large-scale cloud seeding in the northern region. Our dam reserves can only recover if there is heavy rainfall. If there is water crisis in southern Kedah and Penang, millions of people will face hardships. When rationing was imposed in Selangor in 2014, millions of people were willing to pay more for water supply. However, there was no water supply. The production output of thousands of factories that employ hundreds of thousands of Malaysian workers in the Kulim High Tech Park and Penang's industrial areas will also be affected. The losses for all businesses in this region will be counted in hundreds of millions, if not billions. Moreover, how can we host tourists and visitors in northern region if we do not have enough water? If news breaks out on the international front that there's water crisis in Kedah or Penang, the damage to our reputation and Malaysia, Malaysia's reputation as an international center for manufacturing, tourism, and services will be severely compromised. As such, the federal government must not allow water crisis to occur in the northern region.